Hey guys, how's it going? This is Sanch068 here. Sanch068. Um, anyways, this is my Dell and Spran 55-1502. And I am getting ready to put a new SSD into it. Into the secondary SSD slot. Here is my SSD, two terabyte. I had to wait till Dell sent me a bracket and the proper screws to be able to install this. But anyways, I went on Amazon and I ordered a not OEM, uh, uh, aftermarket heat sink. And all I did was I took and I put the silicone pad on the chip side and then put the heat sink on, on top of that. Oops, with three rubber bands holding it all together. So, first of all, I'm using my wow stick. Woo! I have taken out one, two, three, four, five, six, almost seven screws. Now, these last two screws, they totally do not come out. Okay, I'm pretty sure they're undone enough. So, next, you take a debit card, a guitar pick, or a... And you take, and you basically Chicky, chicky. Okay, so once you get it all loosened all the way around, you're going to want to take and slide it and then pull it out because you've got this little tab that slides into this slot. Alright, set that aside. Hopefully Dell sent me the right stuff. So this is going to go down here and here's my bag of goodies. Before I do any of this, I'm going to take right here and I'm going to disconnect my battery. So you just take on both sides and you pull it straight out. Then you go to the power button
and you open the laptop up and you push the power button a couple few times to discharge any remaining power. Now I can take the bracket that Dell sent me. Can you can you see this bracket? <coughs> This bracket that Dell sent me, and I've got to figure out right there where it goes. Take my handy wow stick, and I'm going to secure that down. Whoops. Perfect. Take my pre-ready SSD. Slide it in just like that. Now the first screw that I used was a silver screw. This is a little black screw. Sneak it down in there. Struggle is real. Yay. Is that done? Yep. Pretty much. So, as you can see, there we go. That's what it looks like from my perspective. The SSD can only go in one way because it's got a slot, right? A slot. Right here. Anyways, um, now I'm going to reconnect my battery. I'm not left handed. Ooh. Okay, I got my battery reconnected. Before I put my laptop back together, I am going to make sure that the laptop recognizes the SSD. Okay, you guys, so I have gone and installed my SSD in the secondary slot in my Dell Inspiron 155502. Now I need to configure this SSD because the computer, it doesn't show up in there yet. So I'm going to come down to the start menu. I'm going to right click and I'm going to come up to disk management. <coughs> Then it came up with another window and I can't remember what the window was, but this is where I am now. If I get this to focus. So the first video, I mean the first uh, window that popped up, 
I left everything as is, and then I hit OK. Then I'm going to come down here, and I'm going to right click. I'm going to click on New Simple Volume, and then a wizard pops up. It says, Welcome to the New Simple Volume Wizard. I'm going to click on Next. I'm not going to split up my hard drive or anything, so I'm going to click Next to keep it all as one. I am going to label mine as Disk Z. Hit Next. I'm going to label mine as Secondary SSD. I'm going to perform a quick format, which right here, this little box is already checked for me. I'm going to hit next, and I'm going to click finish. I guess now I will, there we go. I opened up this PC, which I have panned down in my taskbar, whatever you want to call this down here. But if not, you just go down here, you type in this PC, and this is what it'll bring up. And here we've got a whole secondary SSD completely empty, ready to go. Um, if you have any questions, feel free to leave me comments below and I will do my best to answer your questions. And if you have any troubles, I will do what I can to help you out. Um, good luck with installing your secondary SSD. And, uh, don't forget to hit the like button, subscribe share my videos, and have a great day. One last thing, you need to be careful when you're screwing your lid back down. Snap it all back into place. I start with these two because they're the screws that don't come out. And then I go around and I screw in all these screws. But when it comes to these last two screws, you need to be really careful. For one, actually when it comes to these last four screws, you need to be careful because they kind of go in. I know that I probably can't show this. But they just kind of... They don't go straight down, they kind of go in at an angle. But when you do these two, which are on each side of the click pad, you need to make sure that, um, wow, sorry about the focus. But you need to make sure that you have this edge clipped in really, really well along here. Otherwise, your your click pad, your touch pad will be all kind of funky and it won't click properly. And, uh, um, or it'll just feel like it's stuck and it's just not clicking at all. So, what I did was, instead of loosening these two screws... I took and I clipped this all t back together really, really well. And it's working perfect.